The Ford government announced a major investment in hydropower generation in Niagara today. The province says it's going to mean non-polluting energy for the future, but at the same time, critics say the province still has to clean up its Energy Act. Al Sweeney has more. There are two Sir Adam Beck power stations along the Niagara River, and they've been churning out electricity for decades, in one case more than 100 years. The government says it's time to do some work on them. In a typical year in Ontario, 9% of the province's electricity is produced right here at the Sir Adam Beck complex. These stations can't operate indefinitely, though. The province says its Ontario Power Generation Agency will put a billion dollars into the generating units of these plants over 15 years to keep them running for another 30 years, helping power 1.7 million homes and creating more than 200 jobs. It's going to create hundreds of jobs as we refurbish these uh, machines that are creating electricity for the ever-increasing need for electric vehicles and everything that's been electrified. This is going to create a lot of work for not only our current membership, but create apprenticeship opportunities for a lot of young people. The government says this is clean energy, no carbon pollution. But at the same time, the province is also relying on electricity from other sources. I think there's a little bit of dishonesty here to be honest, about talking about a clean power system while simultaneously making it dirtier. Environmentalist Keith Brooks says hydropower is important, but the government is depending on nuclear power and natural gas generation. They like to talk about how Ontario's electricity system is green, but they're in the process of making it more carbon intensive, of putting a lot more gas on the grid, and also placing a really, really big bet on nuclear power which is expensive and has a bunch of risks that, that come with it. On the one hand, they've made a good announcement about uh, investing in clean, renewable water power. And then on the other hand, they're ramping up fossil gas plants, which is going to increase air pollution and increase climate pollution and increase our hydro bills at the same time. It's a huge mistake. To meet the demands of the future, including more electricity for cars and home heating, Critics say the government should be looking at more solar and wind power as it gets cheaper and even more water power. Al Sweeney, CACH News, Hamilton.